Peace is a priceless and precious commodity. No matter how beautiful, well put together and gorgeous that lady looks, if she doesn't give you peace of mind, you might never have a happy life. And that is why in today's video, I'm talking about those kinds of ladies you need to avoid in order to have a happy life. Hello, my guy. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Wendy Zill. You're highly welcome. Let's get into it. A severe gossip is a kind of lady who does not have any other thing to talk about except people. She talks about her neighbor, her pastor's wife, her friends. Her... She just talks about people and she just, you know, cause a lot of discord amongst people. You as a man, you go out in the morning, you know, you hustle all day. Coming back home in order to rest and just relax and prepare for the next day, you're coming into police case, you're coming into a situation where you have to go and bail your wife from the police station. Why? Because she has entangled herself in a gossip that has erupted in a fight and you're running helter skelter to, you know, clear the situation and that kind of person will not give you peace of mind. The second kind of lady you should avoid at all costs is an envious woman. An envious woman envies everything. She is so consumed by jealousy that everything triggers her. She is envious of the neighbor, the person that has bought a new car, the person that bought a new shoe. Even you know, even for insignificant things, she is bitter. It can even show from her mannerism and the way she carries herself. She's always pointing at people and you know, laying curses and you know all those kind of weird things. That is a very dangerous kind of woman for you to entangle yourself with. Okay, because she is bitter and she is so jealous and envious. She never sees good in anything. She never sees good in anybody. Everybody that comes close is a threat. Everybody that comes close is someone that she would discuss, you know, dissect into part and you know, just sentence to whatever she wants to sentence them to. And if you have that kind of person in your life, I mean, I don't know how you want to have a happy life. Because you can't even have a normal discussion. Every discussion is about someone she's envious about, things she's envious about. And you know, it just goes on and on and on. It's an endless circle. The third kind of woman you should avoid is a control freak. Oh my God, she wants to control everything. She wants to have this final say in every situation. That kind of woman would never give you peace of mind. Because one thing we control that I have come to understand is men naturally are supposed to be in control. So control in itself is a masculine trait. So a lady, a woman should not be like try to be in control of every situation, you know, trying to control you, telling you what to do, just literally controlling your life. That is not something you want to contend with, especially if you consider this woman someone you want to have a serious and committed relationship with. Because there is something about serious and committed relationships like marriage. Sometimes in marriage, you don't actually know who is going to end up being the breadwinner of the family. So imagine when you have a control freak as a wife and then she maybe becomes the breadwinner of the family. What do you think is going to happen? It is her words or nothing else. And in that case, you can never be happy because, you know, it just, it's just like reducing you to a sissy and you're just there like, you know, like shadows nodding to everything. You can never have a happy life with that kind of situation. Now, here comes the big questions. Can these women change? Absolutely, yes. But there is something about change. Change begins when you realize that there is a problem. So if someone does not realize that there is a problem, then the person can never change. So these women need to realize and accept that, first of all, they have a problem. That someone who is a serial gossip, for example, like she just gossips voluntarily, talks about people, talks about even dogs. If it's even possible for her to talk about her own shadow, she's going to talk about it because she's so possessed by the spirit of gossip. Now, she needs to understand that, first of all, this thing is a problem. And when she understands that it's a problem, that is when she begins to work on it. But the thing is, are you willing to be there and work on these things with her? Because the truth of the matter is, it's not easy for people to really change and, you know, just drop old habits. But is it possible? Absolutely, yes. And in most cases, when people like this change and become better people, they tend to look at, you know, their surrounding and begin to reevaluate everything around them. And that includes you because she might come up and become a better person and don't want you anymore in their life. So the question is, are you willing to put yourself in that position? That is a question you need to look inwards and answer to yourself. 
Also, someone might have a question of like, how do I know if this lady has this like habit when I'm still dating her? I mean, I don't know her that much and I intend to marry her because she's so gorgeous. Oh my God, she like has everything I need in a woman. Well, that is the essence of dating. I mean, when you're dating someone, the essence of dating is for you to get to know the person. As you're discussing, you're watching her, you're watching her mannerism, you're watching the kind of things she discusses, the way she talks about people, the way she looks at people, her perspectives generally about life. That is the real essence of dating because that is when you kind of get to know the person. And as much as she's studying you, you are also studying her to understand what kind of person she really is. And that is why it is also advisable to at least date for some while before you eventually commit to that person for the long term, okay? So you'll be able to detect this habit. Once you see something, you know that it is not something you would want to contend with then you immediately leave that kind of situation. Because I mean, like I said, everybody wants to have a happy life. In fact, peace of mind can never be bought with money. No matter how much you have, no matter how this, this, that, no matter the kind of bed you sleep upon, if you do not have an inner peace, you will never be happy. So this is something that is priceless. Once you see it as this, then you'll be able to take your time and look out for the things you need to look out for because it's very important. It's going to determine the quality of life you would eventually have. It's going to determine the kind of children, the quality of life that they would have because mothers play a vital role in the life of children, in the life of a family, and even in the life of a husband. So for those of you who think that, oh, well, I don't want to marry her. Who says I want to marry her? I just want to date her, maybe have a child or two. Whether you marry her or not, as long as you have a serious and committed relationship with her, then you need to watch out for these things and ensure that you're not walking into a trap, so to speak. Okay, you need to be sure for your own safety and for your own good. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, ensure to give it a like, subscribe if you have not done so yet, and I will see you in my next video. Cheers.